Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been my New Year's resolution to post more on this channel, so I thought why not start now before the year ends. So, just a quick note, it's my first video since a couple of months, and a lot of things have happened. Seasons have come and gone. Uh, well, I'm in the process of moving. I haven't moved yet, but I will. In fact, I'm coming at you at the moment from Tokyo, and the backdrop of this video is just... Uh, a lobby of a hotel and I'm whispering a little bit because I'm slightly self-conscious the elevators are just around the corner and I look a bit like a mad woman with nothing else to do on New Year's Eve than talking to her camera alone so a lot of things have happened and kilos have come and gone some of them have mostly come to stay and um, well lots of things but that's something for another video today I just want to make a short book review on this book it's called The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes, which I think is quite fitting for a New Year's Eve book review. And uh, I've read previously two other books from him, Flaubert's Parrot. If I find a picture, I'll post it here. If I don't, just enjoy the empty minimalist space behind me and the lighting. And uh, the other book I've read from him was A History of the World in Ten and a Half Chapters, and that was by far my most favorite book from him. However, I must say this little book um, won the Man Booker Prize in 2011. My edition is from Vintage Books and uh, it's a hundred and fifty pages long, more or less precisely. So as you know, I'm a big fan of nice short novels. And I have to say, at first I was put off by this book simply because the experience of the characters isn't exactly what I find very enticing. It's a bit of a highbrow society of rich intellectuals and the things that happen to them. However, I have to say that the beauty of this book is that it, it well, when once you get into the plot, it definitely, because it's a fast-paced short novel, it does make you wonder the whole time what happened, what happened, what's going to happen, what's happening with the character, what happened in the past. So it does keep you going. And uh, I was going to say the beauty of this book is that actually it's not as much what happens in the book, but the fact that it makes you rethink your own life. So by the end of the book, you're kind of closing the chapter, closing the story, but then you find yourself thinking about your own life and how what happened here applies to you. And I think that's the magic of this book, which is why I would definitely recommend it to you. And uh, so, as I said, don't be put off if the experience seems like maybe not relatable or the characters or the era or whatever, maybe it's not quite what you've, I don't know, um, thought of interesting, of knowing about, but whatever happens is definitely, definitely recommendable, especially as a reflection of your own life. And with this little thought, I hope you've had a wonderful year and I hope you'll have a wonderful 2012. And now there's a lot of people coming, so I'll just say bye. Bye. Happy New Year.